Hey everybody, it's Blah Blah Peas, and welcome back to some more Super Mario Maker. In the last part, we went through the first four levels of Gerard, the completionist. Uh, we completed all four of those. If you want to see the rest of those, uh, go ahead and, and check the playlist in the description or on the card. It should be somewhere on the page, top right of the video. Uh, anyway, we're going to go through the Lava Escapades of 1984. Not sure if this is exactly a reference to something. All I know is there's a very low percent completion rate and it's the lowest out of all the levels I've done so far. So let's see how this goes. Oh, oh, wait, why'd I move forward right away? I didn't even evaluate the situation. I just ran forward. Um, okay. Oh, shoot. Oh, yay. It's another perfectionist level. Oh, 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 okay. Um, so the end is right there, but I get it. I got to get all the way around Bowser Jr. on a Koopa. What? Oh, 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 yay. Big booze. This won't make the level any more difficult. Nah, not at all. I got to squeeze in between. Nope, nope. See, I know I had to wait for another boo rotation, but I didn't even think I was going to make make it. All right. So these piranha plants are sinking. Oh, I didn't spin jump. I guess I was doing it before the level actually spawned. All right, here we go. No, I made it through once and now I can't get through it again. All those X's though. It's just a river of X's. Okay. Oh, geez. Go, 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 go. Ugh, please don't miss. Oh, I knew I was too far to the left. I hate seeing the bridge, but not being able to touch the other side right away. Okay, come on. Make it. Go, 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 go. Hammers. Oh, geez. Okay. Now, if I can get rid of the Koopas, that'll make this a little easier. All right, come on. I, well, maybe I need him to come back. Can I spin jump off the vine? No, I cannot. Okay. 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 Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Oh, nope. 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 Well, this isn't good. This is not good. Excuse you. Can you fall off? Nope, uh, apparently not. All right, so I'm gonna actually take care of you. This is boss battle number one, I'm guessing. Because there was a Bowser at the end. I don't know if I have to avoid him or kill him somehow. But I'm gonna take care of Bowser Jr. Come on, where are you at? Nope, no, 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 no. Okay, close, very close. Seriously, can I make you fall off? Because that'd be hilarious. Oh, nope. Come on, come back. Good thing you could spin jump off him. I wish you could spin jump off Bowser, but I guess that'd be broken. There we go. All right, Bowser Jr. is dead. Hopefully I didn't... Okay, go, go. Uh, get through the cloud. The clouds can go, like, sideways, so I'm trying to... Oh! Okay, you can run through clouds or on top of them, like... They're... They're, they're kind of like semi-solid platforms. Basically small semi-solid platforms or semi-solid blocks. There you go. That's pretty much what they are All right, so let him go and I actually don't need to fight Bowser jr. It looks like but I guess it just makes it a little easier uh, All right Hit you and you'll probably kill all the Koopa Troopas Maybe if I spin jump off the oh shoot I just barely made that Okay, maybe if I spin jump off the edge, I can get through a little quicker. Can I get up here fast? Barely. Oh, if he didn't shoot a fire flower, fire flower, fireball right there. Would have been a little easy. Mm, he wouldn't do that. Uh, there's just one little pixel on the left side of this platform where there's no deaths. Should I be the one to fix that again? Just like I did with games playing. Like, man, no one's dying to the third. The third. The first. Uh, blah, uh, whatever. Let, let's just move on. Let's just move on. Do, 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 Um, yep, yeah, no, I didn't make it up there fast enough. Man, what if Bowser Jr. actually fell off the Koopa Troopa while he was making his round? Oh, okay. Oh, oh, I didn't mean to grab the vine. That completely threw me off. I meant to still be on the ground, just jump over him. All right, this one I definitely made. That was perfect. I couldn't get any better than that. Okay, so there's another Bowser Jr. down there and an axe, so... 
I could probably land on Bowser Jr. and then just hop off and land on the axe. Oh, I thought I could squeeze through that. Dang, why are we starting off with a hard level? Gerard, why did number five just happen to be a hard one? Uh, oh, and there's two Bowser Juniors down there. The second one just jumped off most of the time. I hate that that block is a boo, man. Oh, okay. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Okay, watch out, watch out, watch out. Um, I might as well just kill you. <gasps> oh. Or you might as well just kill me. Ooh, perfect. I think that was even more perfect than last time. No, 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 no. Okay, that was actually the closest I've been to dying to those guys. Hmm, if only there was a way to cheat all these spikes. If I could cheat the sp mm, if I could cheat the spikes, I'd just go right through somehow, but obviously you can't go through. Even if there was an invisible star, you couldn't go through them. Spikes are just solid blocks. Can't spin jump off them or anything. There's no way around a spike. Now, a star can let you run on top of them, but that's about it. Actually, that pretty much is it. What if you could skim one of the pixels of the axe by just running head first into the spikes? Whether intentional or not, that would be hilarious and I would definitely exploit it if it were a thing. You killed my platform. I was gonna jump off that Koopa's head. You are a jerk. All right, ooh, I don't know if I made that one. I'm good, I'm good. Oh, 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 okay. How many times did it take him to beat this? That's my question. How many times did it take you to beat this, Gerard? I'll still never get over the fact that Ross couldn't even beat his own level that took me four hours to record. Yeah, by the way, I don't remember if I mentioned this in another video or not. Dang it. But, um, yeah, that Companion Spring 2 level that Ross made, bruh. When I found out on Game Grumps two days later after recording the video that Ross didn't even beat the level himself, he got a friend to beat it, and it took him four hours, and it took me almost four hours, I realized not only am I better than Ross, I'm better than Ross's friend because I finished that level faster. Ha! But then again, some people have told me that they beat it way faster. If anyone knows I sneak sometimes, according to him, he had a failed recording, like technical issues. He played through Companion Spring 2 and then he um, lost the file or got corrupted or something, one or the other. I don't remember specifics. This was just said on Skype one time and I was really upset. All I know is that he beat it twice and the first time it took him about 20 minutes. The second one, it took him about 35, maybe 40. So the fact that it took him less than an hour to beat the level twice, whereas it took me, that's not cool. How am I supposed to be prepared for that? Uh, see, this is why I hate Bowsers. Like, if you have Bowser on a plain old platform, fine. But if you have him as part of an obstacle, this is why I stopped doing it. Like, I'll have, well, I'll have him as an obstacle in the way but I won't have him like blocking something that you need, like an ax. And if anything, he's just there to shoot fireballs. I'm not gonna put him in the way. All right, come on, give me one more. But yeah, TJ, if you're watching, even though I said it way back then, <laughs> screw you. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Uh, man, I don't know when they're shooting fireballs. That's the problem here. That's not fair. If I had fallen, I still would have gotten hit by the fireball. This is all, oh, why'd I just jump? And what killed me, the pro, okay, the piranha plant killed me. For a second, I couldn't tell if the piranha plant killed me with the lava, <laughs> but it was still barely sticking out, it counted. Ah, we're still on the first level. And there's no break in between uh, recordings. I literally got quiet for 10 seconds so I knew where the video ended and that's about it. I have not, I, I never stopped the recording or nothing. So I'm still going based on the last episode. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Uh, if only you could pick up the turtle shell, but it's way too big. Oh, oh, come on, come out. Okay. Um, hmm. 
Oh, whoa, wait a minute. I heard Bowser. Um, I heard Bowser Jr. spinning. Maybe that's when I got to go. Maybe I got to move to the left and make Bowser Jr. Well, both of them, I guess, spin toward me and then spin jump. Maybe that's the idea. Whether intentional or not, that's what I'm doing this time. I just barely heard him spinning. And by the way, uh, for all recordings whatsoever, uh, and sometimes this doesn't even matter, it happens anyway, but I turn uh, the volume down on the game or like if I'm doing a live reaction to some kind of stream or something, I had the volume really low for the stream. So even though you guys can hear it, that's for like internal speakers. Like all oh, that is set so you guys can hear it. But for me, I have external speakers and I have them turned kind of low so that there's not too much feedback. Like I said, sometimes it doesn't even matter. Like sometimes it just sneaks through anyway. But if that's been happening, that's the reason I haven't noticed. Okay, come on, let me up, let me up. Nope, I shouldn't have rushed that one. You know what, screw it, we're going in. Nope, well I guess not. I guess we're not going in. And there we go. I love doing that. It makes things a lot easier. Come on, where are you coming up? There you go. All right, gotta wait for Bowser Jr. All right, come over here. There he goes. Ah, come on. Oh, there he goes again. Come on, go, go, go. Oh, he, he got me again. Dude, all I gotta do is land on top of him and I should be fine. This is hard though. Jeez. I might just have to cut to a successful attempt and give you guys an anticlimactic like victory because it really all depends on the Bowser Juniors, where they're at and whether or not they're shooting a fireball. And since I can't see them, I don't know if I'm really provoking them the right way. And if I'm not, well, no winning. <laughs> All right, let me get on the edge. There we go. Now I got it. I messed up twice in a row. Ah, <sighs> Seriously, like, <sighs> you can't see them. And unfortunately, like, it'd be cool if the Hammer Bros could actually hit them. But, oh, I did not mean to do... Oh! Oh, you all split way up. Not sure how that happened. Maybe they ran into the block. All right. At least this isn't, this isn't Kaizo level difficulty. I mean, it's difficult, but... Uh, it's only this one section, to be honest. Oh, I keep grabbing the vine. My stupid thumb always hits the up and down button on the D-pad when I'm not trying to. And that screws everything up. All right, let's try it again. Try it again. If only I could climb a little faster on this. All right, you know what? Let's just book it. Book it and go. Hmm. Okay. Well, we're booking it. And we're going to keep trying it. All right, we're booking it. We're booking it. We're booking it. We're not booking it anymore. The fireballs. Yum. Got it! Oh, oh! I was holding the button! If I wasn't holding the button, I would have made it! Alright, note to self. Keep doing that, but don't hold the button. Alright, let's try this. Oh, no! Come on, I messed up big! Okay. Get away from the vine. That's always a no-no. And I'm not booking it anymore. I'm trying to kill this thing. Get him out of the way. Just one less thing to worry about. And go. No! Oh! <laughs> All right, around the cloud. Oh no, I keep messing that up. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Go around the cloud. Ah, that tight squeeze, those Bowser Juniors, that axe right at the edge. No, I, I wanna finish this level, I wanna go home, even though I am home. Mommy. Oh shoot, I wasn't holding the button. <laughs> wow, Bowser Jr. actually killed the boo block. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. All right. And die. Okay. Um, let's try this again. Oh, nope. Guess not. Come on. Where are you guys at? Uh, wh when do you guys get in? Okay. So around about here, you guys get in the shell. Ah, come on. I hate this so much. 
<laughs> you were shooting fireballs anyway. All right, I'm just gonna book it as soon as I hit him and booking it. Oh, got it, got it. Yes, oh, do it. Oh, okay, for a second, I thought Mario was kicking his foot out. That was Bowser's hair. Okay, that actually didn't take too many more attempts. Uh, maybe it's cause I shut up, but whatever the case. All right, I beat this quicker than Aaron. I'm going to need to take a break from you, your videos, and your levels. Jay, come on. Um, I don't know whose mom looks like that, but uh, I am the one percent. <laughs> no, jeez. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna do something real quick. Maximum number of comments, really? I just wanted to draw like go tanks and be like, finish it. <laughs> uh, geez, I did that on the media copy again. Fun fact, like yes, I got a media copy. I know I keep bringing it up, but it's so relevant when I'm talking about Gerard, because I beat all of Gerard's levels back on the media copy. Fun fact, he never beat any of my courses. If like, back on the media copy, hardly anyone had the game. So it was very easy to run into people's levels on expert mode or something. So, oh geez, a 20, oh God, no. Um, anyway, he played versus father and son, uh, spin to win. Uh, and I actually remade that level and uploaded it again. Uh, so if you guys have seen me with uh, PK or my friend Alex trying to beat that level, yeah, Gerard couldn't beat that level. And if you don't believe me, just look at his review of Mario Maker. You'll see a spot where there's a Bowser and a Bowser Jr. behind a brick wall, and it's in Mario 3 style, and he just kind of dies. And he says that stages get boring and repetitive sometimes, and he's talking about my level, and I'm like, ha, you didn't even beat it! I win. You can't call a level boring if you didn't even beat it. Uh, you can still call it boring, but repetitive? Excuse me? Maybe repetitive that you kept running into it, but uh, whatever the case. Is there some up here? I, I see a, a dot 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 in the comments. Let's see. Those wrench dudes. It starts with the first spin. Oh, okay. Uh, and what's weird about this is that. It's not, um, like you, you don't have to go at full speed. You, you actually have to maneuver with them like at a pace. All right. Oh, oh, see, I was getting ready to spin jump off you to go up and possibly break the course, but it seems you just don't want to have that. No, you're, you're just going to kill yourself. Um, all right. So spin jump off all these guys. And when the thwomp comes, let them go through. There are two blocks left. Jump between one and the other, and then those wrench dudes. Uh, what? I hate that these things are on booze. That makes it just a little more annoying, because when you run away, they move towards you a little bit right before you pick up speed. All right. And wait. All right. Oh, ah! Oh, no. <laughs> now I see why they're upset about the wrench dudes. I'm gonna be on this even longer than the last le uh, level because, like, not only is this harder, look at the completion rate. Oh, I should've just gone. I should've just booked it. Okay, go, go, go. Okay, what, th there's arrows pointing up there. I guess there's an invisible block that I was too low to hit. Let's try it again. I don't think I'm at the point of editing magic yet. I don't think we need a cut or anything. Oh, no. Uh, okay, just go. As soon as I get to that block section, just go. Don't wait for the thwomp or nothing. Just go. And keep dying to the piranha plant. There's so many exits. How do you... Oh, they kind of let the boo walk towards them, I guess. Well, float towards them. I was like, how do people die at the beginning of the level? Oh, shoot. Um... So apparently right there is an invisible block that I'm not getting. Ah, this sucks. This really sucks. This is gonna be a much longer episode than the last one. I just happened to get all of his harder levels on the second half.
I mean, sure, he made the harder levels after, but still, my point still stands. All right, come on. Oh. Now, what I'm curious about, I haven't really tested it. I haven't had a need to, I don't think. But I never noticed, what makes you jump higher? Jumping off an enemy normally or spin jumping off an enemy? Because maybe I shouldn't be uh, spin jumping at all. Well, I had to on the first part, uh, Piranha Plants, but what about the second part? All right, let's try this again. And again and again and again. All right, let's just do this. No, ugh. not spin jumping messed up my rhythm. <laughs> uh, see, this is more of a Kaizo level. More so than the last level, even though there, there's a distinct lack of spikes and munchers but still and i know there's a difference between the two but like it's like oh my god not all difficult mario stages are kaizo levels there's a difference kaizo is its own thing i got comments like that i'm like bruh calm down it's a mario world style level and it's really hard and has the elements of a kaizo level so that's what they're going to be associated as that that's just fact that's just how it is that's how the general public refers to specific placement oh so you're laughing at me do i not hit the box or did you know that was going to happen the first time ah <sighs> okay come on oh come on maybe i do need a spin jump i don't know uh Maybe, hmm, I, I do need a spin jump, don't I? Or maybe I need to hit the block off the second to last enemy rather than the very last enemy. Like spin jump off one, hit the block, uh, land on the last one, and then like go backwards. Like give myself an extra platform or two to jump off of. All right, let's see it. Nope, didn't work. Wait a minute, do I need the, do I need it? I don't think I need it anymore. We'll find this out, hold up. Maybe if you survive it, it makes the level easier, but oh, how do I land on the turtle and not the mole? Okay. This is actually starting to get annoying. <laughs> uh, come on. <laughs> See, I need to be spin jumping if I want to land on that piranha plant, and hopefully this is actually the right idea. I'm just gonna cut till I get to that piranha plant. Oh, 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 oh! Did not mean to do that, but I'll take it. Okay, no. No, oh, why'd I even bother? Oh, I should have known I couldn't squeeze in through that. Yeah, we got it again. Okay, so spin jumping is the way to go. But, oh my god, how do I get to, do I have to run through? Like, is it already past the point of no return? Can I not beat this anymore? Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and you can't spin jump. It's over, I can't get past that. So you have to just go as soon as you get up here. Go, go, go. Oh, you just have to go, bruh. All right, so this part actually isn't so bad anymore, but here's my thing. What if I'm supposed to do this? Oh, yep, I think that is what I'm supposed to do. You don't want to go up the vine. Unless maybe you do, and it was like I said before, and you gotta go really fast, but let's try this alternate route, because if I can go around, then I'll make that a lot easier. Uh, and seriously, like if I get my momentum right, this part actually isn't as bad, but I got so used to it. Like I've done it so many times that it's almost become second nature. All right, so spin jump off the top one. There you go. Mm. See, that's all you got to do, but then you got to stop going forward. Like so. All right. Now just wait, and then... All right, just got to get a little momentum off the side, and... Go. Oh, no. No, no, no. Ah, I had it. I had it. I could have had it. All right. Lowest point is there. How? What? Was it because I was still going up? Oh, that sucks. I hate that. Now I can't even get past the first section. That one death made me worse. Seriously, this part just got so much easier. Okay. 
Um, if I can get it at its lowest point, there we go. There we go. And then just spin jump off these bad boys. All right, go, go, go. Where am I at? Oh, no, the muncher. Okay, so I gotta go all the way to those piranha plants on the far right side and that'll make it easy. Okay, I got it now. I freaking got it. I have it figured out. There's nothing left to figure out. Just gotta execute. Just gotta execute. First one, last one, boom, bada boom. Oh man, I killed something and then it didn't really work. No, 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 no. I got this though. I freaking got this though. I could show off a full attempt and have it be my successful attempt. I can do this now. I know how to do it. No! Why? <laughs> I know I have that part down. Seriously, every time I shut up, I just do it. <laughs> Every one of those cuts, wow, voice crack. Every time I do one of those cuts, like it was literally just me switching like from commentary to mute. And then you do that one run and you get it done perfect. But now that I'm talking again, I can't get it done anymore. First, last, and back. Why do I keep doing the same thing? I'm cutting. Good thing I cut because it took me quite a few more attempts to get back here for some reason. Anyway, lowest point and go and go. All right, when I get to the end, I just gotta jump all the way to the, to, no! No! I hate that wiggler. I hate that wiggler with a passion right now. That did not have to go down the way it did. He just made that ridiculously, every time. Shut up and go. All right, if I can get around that wiggler, and if I can get to the edge, I think I'll be fine. Come on, let me, oh, I let go of the spin and I landed on a spike. Okay, if I can get around this wiggler. Okay, where am I at? Okay, there we go, fall in, right? <gasps> the wiggler followed me, so I was gonna die either way. Got it, got it, got it. Oh, the wrench! Oh, depending on where the wrench hit me, I wasn't gonna make that anyway. Is there anything below that muncher? Like, is it just a spike wall or like, let me see what's over here. Ah, I can't pause. Um, oh, oh, this level just got a million times easier. All I gotta do is fall to the edge, try to be careful with the rampaging wigglers, but fall in that one tiny little gap, walk underneath and then jump up to the flagpole. I don't need to jump over the muncher. So I had a very complicated plan, which I guess maybe anyone would have done, but why did I not notice that there was just one spike down there? I was, I was too concerned thinking that the whole thing was a spike tower and there was no way around it. I had to go over it. That is not the case at all. And I'm still sucking at this. But now that I know what to do, I don't want to shut up and cut. I want to have a successful run. Like I want to have the whole thing shown. Uh, I want to prove that I'm somewhat good at this game. Oh, stop it. Okay, we're back here again. Uh, it wasn't quite as, you know, smooth as I would have liked it to be. But all right, as soon as this one reaches its lowest point, that's all we got to worry about. That's the easy part. And then up and over, up and over, and go. Ah, oh, come on! I, I hate that you're off screen. I hate that you're off screen and you need to know what kind of momentum you're at and judge based on your speed to know exactly where you gotta go. I hate judging that. It sucks. It really sucks. Okay. St I hate this momentum breaker right here. Like, you gotta stop, and then you gotta wait, and then you gotta go. Cause you can't reach it the first time. All right, go. All right, come on. Oh, there's not that big a, there's an even bigger gap than I thought. I thought there was only, wait, I could have sworn there was only one space. Am I going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs right now? Wait a minute. Something happened. One of the munchers was gone. Y'all see that, right? What I just, I just did that on purpose so I can get a view. But okay, okay, uh, wait. Was I about to break a gl glitch course? Like, well not break, but was I, was I about to beat a course while it was glitched? Cause that would have been so weird. Like that wouldn't have even been fair. I would have taken it cause I would have beaten the course obviously, but 
There was a big gap there this, that time. Where'd that come from? Uh, what the heck? Is it because there's too much on screen? Is it? I don't, I don't get it. See, it was way easier when I knew that there was only, like, like there was a bigger gap. But, oh, two hours? Dang, Chase, I've only been here for an hour and eight minutes, and that's two videos worth. Hmm. Anyway. Uh, they took me long individual. I think the past two levels took me about 15 minutes to beat a piece. Maybe 20 minutes a piece. I don't know, but wait. This level has a nasty glitch, Gerard, and makes it unbeatable sometimes that's we i don't know i'll i'll start it but i let me know in the comments if you guys know what that was all about if you guys have an actual explanation for that because there's supposed to be two wigglers there was only one there's supposed to be one space with the muncher there were two that time is it because i didn't show the munchers and all before I moved up and there was too much on screen for it to spawn because I know that's a thing I know Bowser like in Ross's level uh doesn't spawn if you hit the p-switch because he has no room to spawn but either oh my god um why did you Gerard why did you make such hard levels this might be split into three parts. This might be split into three parts. Let's see how this starts. 0.14%. And it's supposed to be friendly ghost buddy. Oh shoot, what? 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 I lost, didn't I? I was supposed to somehow get Yoshi, wasn't I? Um. I, I kind of want to read these comments and see what the heck this is all about. Um, I, I don't even know. Okay, apparently there's going to be a thwomp landing in a clown car. Uh, th there's nothing I can do about that, and I know it now. It was on one of the later dot dot dots. <sighs> okay, do I have to get rid of the... I don't know how to do this. No. <clears throat> Can I grab it from the side like this? Let me practice this. Are right, you going to start here? Can I do? No. Yes, I can. Okay. It took me a million tries, but let's try it again. Ah. No. <clears throat> yep. This might be the end of this episode because I don't want to do this all day and then have no progress. But here's my thing. Do I need the trampoline at all? Oh, wait. Uh huh. Wait. Oh, that just bounces right over. I don't have to ditch Yoshi, do I? Gerard, I hate you. Gerard, I hate you right now. All right, so just jump up with the trampoline and get it. Nope, nah, I gotta jump up with the uh, Yoshi when he goes. Oh, what? Wait, I felt like right below him. All right, maybe I need to do it like a second after. And go. Nope, way too fast. I can see why the percentage is so low, because look how many retries it takes. Uh, what? And you need Yoshi or you can't move on. This level actually sucks. Um... Uh, can I get this right there? Uh, I wanted it a little further. Ah, oh, come on, come on. Can I get this in my... Okay. Can I get just a little further with this? Whoo, okay. Got it. No, well, mm-hmm. That would be... Before mentioned, Thwomp. All right, so the first Yoshi just kind of dies. He goes off screen. Nothing he can do about that. All right. If I can get off this wiggler and just jump up. There we go. There we go. No. No. I don't want to ditch Yoshi. How do I move forward? How, how do I move forward? Oh. Okay. Can I can we go to the right a little bit? 
Can we keep? No, no. So here's the thing. If I, okay. No. Okay. What I'm thinking is you have to get Yoshi, jump on top that uh, platform, and just keep moving your way up. And then eventually you'll be able to walk on top the thwomps. <sighs> well, I can also spin jump. Well, I can also die. <sighs> but I think I had the gist of it, at least the beginning. All right, and the beginning's actually not that bad. Once you get once you get the rhythm down, it's not that bad at all. Oh shoot! Mm -hmm. You got to get to the wiggler. Like it's hard to pick up speed and jump off a trampoline like with one little pixel. Huh, I already missed that. All right, if I don't get in this one try, I think we're gonna have to chalk this up as the end of the episode, and we're gonna start over uh, in the next one. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. And got, no! Okay, we're gonna end off the episode here and I'm gonna exit right now just so I can get the course ready for you guys in the next video. But yeah, with as long as the last two levels were and that this is an even lower completion rate, yeah, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to end this one now. Uh, plus the last one is 0.13. We have a point 14 and a point 13. Hi, yeah, yeah. Okay, that'll do it for this episode. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, and let me know what other content creators, website owners, whatever uh, you'd like me to do all their levels. And I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.